Today we are recreating the famous wall running mechanic from Prince of Persia games using Unreal Engine 4. This is a very cool navigation system which allows player to run along the walls horizontally. In Prince of Persia, player can run into a wall in certain direction while pressing a key to start wall run. So to recreate this mechanic, first I need to implement a method to detect runnable walls. Next a way to find out the running direction matches with the position of the runnable wall. Then find the direction along the wall that player should run. And finally define a art path along that calculated direction. So let's start then. First I'll create a new project with standard Unreal third person template. We open up third person character blueprint and get the right mouse press and release events. Then on press make enable wall run boolean to true then on release make it false. This variable used to keep if we want to start wall running or not. Then also make in another boolean called is wall run done, which used to check wall running is up over. Then make a boolean called is wall running to check if we are currently wall running, and then on event tick, check whether the player's velocity is greater than 500, to ensure that player can't start wall running, unless they are in running state. Then create a function to reset all variables related to wall running. After that we need to store if player jumps state. Because jumping into the wall requires different adjustment of values. Then we start line tracing for runnable walls. First we line trace for wall detection from the right side of the player to detect walls. This can be done by getting the right vector of the player, and hooking up with line trace for object node.as. For the object time I used custom object channel called run. If there is a hit result we flag the wall hit right boolean, and save the hit result into a variable. Now we do the same test for the left side of the character, by getting the right vector and multiplying by minus 1 to inverse it. After tests are done, we analyze the outcome values and filter hit results accordingly. If both hit results are valid, then it means there are two runnable walls on both sides. In this case we compare the hit distance and we get the closest wall to the player. Now you can see both line traces when you press and hold right mouse button. Now we need to check all prerequisites for wall running is checked. First we check if hit result is valid, or not if not then wall running is finished. Then we need to check if the wall is perpendicular to the player. This can be done using getting the dot product between player up vector and surface normal. Dot product of normalized vectors gives cosine between two vectors. Next we need to calculate the direction which player needs to move along. This direction should be along the wall and it can be calculated by getting the cross product of player up or down vector and the surface normal. Then I add a small offset towards the surface normal to previously calculated direction, because we don't want to move player too close to the wall which makes wall running very unnatural. Basically here I'm doing, is comparing player forward and right vectors with calculated direction, to find the appropriate angle for wall running. If the angle is match we flagged it by a boolean value. Here is a rough sketch for you to understand angle comparison. If the angle is found then set character movement mode to flying in order to ignore gravity effect, set wall running flags to true and temporally disable movement. Next step is to interpolate player location to calculate it direction along the wall. Here we set actor rotation to movement direction and increase the length of the direction vector along the wall in each. Now we have set up the variables, go to the animation blueprint of the character, and add wall run animations for both left and right sides, and assign transition logics to require transition. Now wall running is working. But we need to add an art path along the wall, to get effects similar to Prince of Persia. To add an art path we use sign value from 0 to 180 angle and calculate the height of player which position along the z-axis should interpolate in each tick. When our path is over, which means angle is 180 degrees stop the all running, and reset all the variables. Now we can add jumping away from wall when running. To do this get the previously calculated normal direction, and use lunch character node to boost character away from. After tweaking some variables to get the best looking wall running, here's what it turned out.
watching. The link for complete project files is in description below. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to comment what popular game mechanic implementation you would like to see next. Thanks again.